She's really responding to treatment. Doctor, doctor, please. Um, what's the problem with her? Oh, you see, from the tests and diagnosis conducted on her so far, it's an indication that she'd had some serious heart ailments for a while now. Jesus! Heart problem? Doctor, please, please, wait, doctor, doctor. Doctor, is she going to be all right? Of course, she's going to be all right. You see, um, this heart attack thing, one moment somebody's hale and hearty, the next moment, bang, heart attack. It gives no warning sign whatsoever. Uh, uh, doctor, doctor can, can, can I see her? No, you can't see her. She is resting. I think you need to rest yourself because you're not looking too good. You know, we don't want to have two cases on our hands at the same time, if you know what I mean. I don't understand what you're talking about. I mean, I don't understand you. What are, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, Kings, my child. I love to hear you call me mama. It always makes me feel like you were mine. <laughs> no, for, but, but of course I am. I'm, I'm Kingsley, your son, and I, and I love you. I love you too, my child. I have a secret I've been wanting to tell you. But I've been waiting for the right time. And that right time is now. A secret that has caused me so much pain and has burdened my heart. All oh, these years, my child. I won't blame you if you hate me afterwards. <sighs> but I have to free my conscience. For you know, I don't have too much time on my hands. Mm. You know, I have always loved you with all my heart, my son. Yes, Mama. What am I about to say? It's too heavy in my mouth to say. But I have no choice. I have to tell you. <laughs> Not your real mother. I mean, I am not your biological mother. Mama, you are. You are. What are you, what are you talking about? Do you, do you want me to get to you a doctor or go, or go to the hospital and get help from outside or something? My son, listen to me. I might be frail and sick in the body but i am not sick in the head i i have a very sound mind so listen to me attentively 
<laughs> Mama, what, what, what is it you want to tell me? My baby. The truth. Fight noise under the truth. That can set me free now. My child, I know that what I am going to tell you will definitely blow your mind. It will make you a different man. It will change your entire life. It will make you a different man from the man you are now. But believe you me. What I did, I did it out of love, my child. I am only begging, begging you for forgiveness. Please, forgive me. Whatever I did, I did out of love. Please. <laughs> Mama, you did what? Mama, easy, easy. Mama, easy, easy. It's okay. It's okay. My child, it's better you know who you are now than to live your total life in ignorance. Mm. <laughs> Take it easy, Mama, Mama. Easy, easy. It's okay. It's happened long, long time ago. It happened with my desire to make things right again. My husband died a few months later after I gave birth to my son, my child. It was a big blow to me. Big tragedy. Mm. So, I gave all my love to my son. That was what I resolved to. <clears throat> so, I smothered him with love. Attention, money, anything any mother would do for a son, I did for that boy. I over pampered my secret. So, I overlooked things I should have cared for. This was how. Patrick became a robber <laughs> and it wasn't a trivial issue that I could tell anybody. <laughs> I had no one to talk to. So one day my son came home with a gift for his mama.
think you could care of this child. I shall come back when one day is done. Yes, boss. Plus, where are you going, son? Is this my son or the devil's son? Eh? Hey? That was how you got to me. You were unconscious for two days. And all through that time, I was by your side. I tended and cared for you. And by the time you regained consciousness, God, I loved you even the more. <laughs> you were like cousin to me to redeem me from my past guilt over Patrick, my son. And by the time I realized who you were, it was too late. It was too late in the sense that you had already stolen your way into my heart. <clears throat> and God, I couldn't dream of letting you go. You'll be able to save yourself. Oh no, but I hope you'll be able to save yourself when the time comes, Patrick. Police, looking for me. Ah, uh, let that time come. Mama, let that time come. God! Mama, what do you think? Ah, just look at it. Why? God! Now I'm beginning to understand why you say you women are really fish brains. Mama, you are fish brains, Mama. Mama, you are fish brains. Exactly, Patrick! Mama, you are so dumb. Mama, what's the problem? Mama, what's the problem? Mama, what's the problem? Mama, listen, Mama. If you feel so bad about me and the and, and, and way you talk to your, you could have told the, the little boy to avoid your guilt over me. Maybe that might be just a point to be with me. Yes. <laughs>
just below. Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll be right there. I'll, I'll tell them. I'm happy you're taking this with a lot of courage and strength. Do I have a choice? Well, I was just, uh, I'll definitely miss her though. But she left me with a parting gift. More painful than death itself. How do you mean? Damien. This is not what we discussed. Talk about it. That's too much on my head right now. It's all right. Those there are my pictures from when I was four years old to my twenty of my birthday. And the newspaper clip is on what I'll call the icing of the cake. You know, I've gone through it and it's all. Who tells who that that's who I am, bro? I'm not the case there again. She could diagnose my father. Holy macaroni! God! That's my mother's, I mean, my supposed mother's partner gift to me. I think it's exactly what I heard when I heard it. Yeah. I mean, what's that? You can't say that again, bro. Yes. You're just a new body. I mean, who's going to believe my story? Who? <laughs> <laughs> My best friend. Mm -hmm. But what about the public? Isn't Chief Odell by himself? Look, a lot of imposters have tried to swindle him this past year. And you see what I mean? You see what I mean? 
So what are you going to do? So that's where you come in. You're my best friend and I need your help. Mm -hmm. Yes, you. You're a police investigator, right? I want you to use my discretion to get more information that might be useful to me. You see, my mother said that her late son said someone paid him to kidnap me and wipe me off the face of the earth. So, you think an insider is involved? So, I just want to make it clear. If someone wanted me out of the way back then, how sure are you the person who's going to be comfortable seeing me reappearing out of the breeze again? You know, you have a point there. There must have been a motive for all that had happened. And that's why I need your help. I understand. But I'm not promising you anything. You know, these people are VIPs and they live a very secretive life. Any information crisis? Sleep now, okay? Sleep. You want to wee wee okay later, okay? Sleep now, okay? Close your eyes. Sleep.
And what I say, no one cares to know. Maybe I'm invisible to the world. Nobody thinks of me. Nobody cares. Oh no. My dreams, my life, my everything, nobody cares. No father and no mother. I'm alone in this big empty space and nobody cares. Talk what I feel, what I see. No one cares to know. Maybe I'm invisible to the world. Nobody thinks of me. Nobody cares. Oh, my dream. I'm alone in this big empty space and nobody cares. My dreams, my life, my everything, nobody cares. I have no father. No, I have no mother. I'm so alone in this wide and distant, and nobody cares. Who really cares? Nobody. When I talk, what I feel, what I say. No one cares to know. Maybe I'm invisible to the world. Nobody thinks of me. Nobody cares. Oh, no. my dreams, my life. My everything, nobody cares. No father and no mother. I'm alone in this big empty space and nobody cares. Oh, nobody. When I talk, what I feel, what I see, no one cares to know. Maybe I'm invisible to the world. Nobody thinks of me. Nobody cares. Dreams, my life, my everything, nobody cares, no father and no mother. I'm alone in this big empty space 
Relax. When you don't create the time for us to relax. How can I? Chief, the children can run this company. I uh, But you see, just give me some time to make things arrange them properly. And don't you understand? I don't understand. Chief, I don't understand. What if you were not there? Listen, I am there. So when it is time, the children will be the company. But just allow me to do it the way I want to do Come on, man. Come on. You know, Mr. Good morning, guys. Oh, my good morning. Ah, what is wrong with you? You overslept. You believe not that, please. Daddy, today is the meeting with Johnson and Johnson, remember? So I want to go for the meeting first before going to the office. What can I do without the kids? <laughs> Daddy, I have to run now. Now when you come back, don't forget to tell me how to come. As for we Bye bye now. Bye bye dear. Bye bye dear. Bye bye dear. And we say these kids are not running the company? <laughs> well, they are. They are I admit myself, I think I've never been going. I'm getting late. Uh, where is Chris? Oh, Chris. Chris has uh, a slight fever. He's resting in his room. I see. So why, why don't you go to the hospital? Well, I have given him some medication. Uh, don't worry, he'll be fine. Oh, she remember! Remember the pleasure! Why don't the smile and the one never come into the place? Why? Oh! Chris, you are drinking again this morning. You've got to do something about this segmenting habit. Honestly, you have to. Your father will accept you. And then you are really good.
my husband. I was beginning to get worried about you. Not doing it for some time, man. Come on, man. Ah, it's not like you sent me to get your ice cream. If you don't know that work you put me. Then look I hear what. Let come Mr. let me hear what you have for me. Let's go back. Please, man. I was able to discover that the two months I brought about your age and are so much older. And besides, you've also got a stepmother to the family. Interesting. The girl is Frances, and this is the guy's name, and the stepmother is Vivian. But I thought I met all the boys. Look, I think this will interest you more. As the story goes, Chief Udebala brought over his childhood friend's company that was going down the drain when the man died. He then turned around to buy the man's wife. Vivian. Sure, he got it. She then sold the company to the man. And with the marriage, it was only right for Chief to adopt those two kids as his. But over time, people have come not to even remember that the Chief, those kids are not his biological children. Are you trying to say that Chief never had any biological child besides him? No, not even from his wife Vivian? I'm afraid no. You are his only biological child. Besides, Francis and uh, Chris run to other companies within the large Republic of Business. You know, another thing I gathered from all the information I got is that everything. I mean, the buying over of the company, the marriage, all this happened just a year before you took it. I see. Kings, what are you thinking of? Just thinking, man. Just think. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, sir, I, I was the one who booked the appointment for 6 o'clock, sir. You are the manager in my marketing department, I presume? Yes, sir. Wonderful. You see, I like to know my workers because it helps in the overall management of the company. And uh, you said you wanted to discuss something important, right? Huh? Yes, I did, sir. Well, um... If you don't mind, we'll go into my study so that that will be the last business of the day before uh, dinner. I don't joke with my dinner. Any, anything you say, sir? After you? After you, sir. Come on, sit down. Yes. So, tell me, what is so important that, that can wait until tomorrow at the office?
So those there are my photographs from when I was three years old till my 20th birthday, sir. And the other ones are newspaper reports of a young boy named Charles Udiabala who was kidnapped some 25 years ago, sir. You see, sir, before my mother died, she... Would you stop that stupid story? I am tired of hearing about this stupid things from your types. I am tired of hearing that my son has resurrected again. I am tired of hearing all this nonsense from you. Am I the only one that has ever lost the son? Why don't you people leave me alone? I, I know how it feels. I also presume that some people might have been here in the past, you know, claiming to be your son. But, sir, I'd really appreciate it if you grant me audience and hear me out, sir. Thank you me. cannot presume you know how I feel. Because if you knew how I feel, you would not claim that. Now, will you get out of my house? Get out of my house, now before I do something that both of us will regret. How I mean myself, Claire? My simple is, get out of my house, young man! I am tired of hearing this nonsense! You imposter! What is all this nonsense? Can't I leave my life alone without somebody telling me he's my son? Can I? No, out! Come, come on, bring your window here. Come here, bring it. Chief, I just heard you shouting. What was that all about? And who was that young man that just met? Pains to be my son. No? <laughs> Your son, Charles? What's my fault in all of this? I mean, why would he treat me like that? I mean, why would he just give me a chance to explain himself? Does that man even know how I feel? You see the one I've been going through? Slow down, bro. You won't blame him, would you? Listen, this man has seen many like you in the past. It's, it's difficult knowing what, what, what to believe if you wear in the shoes. Listen, I'm not saying you should just open up his arms and welcome his long lost son. 
All I was just asking for that man to do was just to sit down and listen to me. Let me explain without bias. I mean, is that too much to ask for? Is it? I'm afraid in this present circumstances, it is. Yeah, right. Hey, bro. You've got to breathe yourself up and expect more of this mess. And I don't think getting angry like this will solve the problem. I'm so confused. I feel bitter with everything. Everyone. My foster mother, my father, me, everybody. At least you're not angry with me, are you? Listen. The first thing you need to do is cast away the bitterness in your heart. It will help. Do you know how it feels to walk under a father who refuses to acknowledge you as his son? Do you know how I feel when I answer to him, yes sir, when I rather answer to him, yes father? Do you know how my heart bleeds when my own father can't even show me love? Do you know how it feels when I look at him in the face? I can feel your pain. Listen. You've got to let the tears of your pain push away the bitterness of your heart. Because nothing good comes out of being bitter. Come on, man. You've got to try harder. Babes, let's get out of here and get a drink or something. If you ask me, this place is getting claustrophobic. Come on. Yes. No. So, 
Your father said he came a second time to see him in the office. Besides, lately, your father has begun to think about the past. And that really worries me, because it's like reopening old wounds. Well, Mom, there's no more for father to react that way. I just don't want anything to <laughs> of course I know I'm right, Mom. You worry too much. Now we begin to sound like Don't you think you're taking too much of that No. You know you're not feeling too well. Mom, when will you ever stop treating me like a child? I'm not a baby. I'm a man. A poor grown man. I had a right through the day, day when I spent all that. Oh, all right. You don't need to remind me. I know that already. Right? But the thing. Well, I'm not going to get it. Sweet yourself. So, would you want something to eat? I'm fine. Okay, Mom. Okay, sweet yourself. <laughs> What? Look, hey boy, this is not right. Just not right, boy. Is anything right in this country? Huh? I don't have an identity. Not even who people think I am. Is that right? No, look, that is different. Listen, no matter how you look at it, okay, I still remain a nobody, okay? That doesn't explain why we're here. Does it? Come on, boy. Look, if you don't know, this is invasion of privacy. Really? What have we seen here? Relax, relax. <laughs> You're a police officer. Why panic? The more reason I should not be seen here. Damn it! Thanks. I know the law. And we're breaking it. Yes, sir. We are not breaking no law, okay? We just bedded it a little. Jesus! Man. You know what I feel? I think you're taking this whole thing very personal. Because I'm taking it very personal. I want a grudge too. It's okay. All right. All right. Listen. Maybe you can enlighten me just a little. We have been here for over four hours or so, and you really have not said what we are out here looking for. I don't know. What? Yes, I don't know. I don't know what we're looking for, okay? But I feel I can get one or two more things about, you know, do you talk about a family? My family. Do you understand? Thank you. I've never seen such a panicky police officer. Relax! Tessie, Tessie, I will kill somebody. I will kill somebody. I won't allow this to happen to you. You are just worrying yourself for nothing. Eh? For all you know, you might just be a chick wanting to cash in on the situation. Eh? Hmm. Mm -hmm. This one looks different. You need to see the confidence. Hey, calm men are the most confident people. Eh? Relax, stop worrying yourself. But is it my fault? Tessie, is it? 
You know all I have gone through to make this work. All the sacrifices that I had to make. Firstly, no stranger is going to come out from the blues and claim all that I have nurtured all these years. I know what you mean. I know. Mm. Mm. I will be caught in your Considering the fact that I do not have any issue for you. I will be caught in your face. I will. Mm. You know our people now. <laughs> Are you telling me? Oh, you saw my own case now. But I showed the family and those greedy relations of my late husband that Kake no be led. Hey. Hey, hey, my dear, I saw what you went through. And I'm trying to avoid such complications. Tessie, hold me up. Hold me up because I'm going to kill somebody. Stop worrying yourself. Relax. Eh? This way you probably go the way the others did. Relax. I hope so. For my sake, so I hope so. Before I kill somebody. <laughs> what did you say you would drink? Okay. I must say that all the people in your profession, you are the most confident. I mean, what could you giving this boy so much confidence to come to you over and over again? What would make him come to you with claims of being your son? I don't care. I don't care to know. What is and having the criminal because stop, 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 my, 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 my church, the last time we entered. Honestly, sir, I'd rather be sacked. I'd rather not work for you then, than watch you ignore the fact that I'm your son! I say, get out. They say heals all wounds, but time has failed to heal this wound. I wish I could forget it all, but I cannot. I cannot forget the day that took the light out of my life. My son. My life, 
the only memory of Abigail, his mother, the woman I loved. This young man. No. The one of them. No, 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 no. No. There are some financial accounts I don't seem to reconcile with our company here. Yeah. So, there is an unaccounted 15 million error deficit in our company. There is no document to. No, it is from our oil and gas company. Our oil and gas company is supposed to make a profit and not a deficit. So, you are true. But um, the director. We do some amount. What 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 did you do? What, what are you talking about? So the deficit you noticed in the in the books uh, as a result of the director's over chart to withdraw on the company's account. You, you mean my son withdrew the children from the company's account? What? What? What is telling you to do with it? I don't know. Either he, he wanted to use the money to, to prosecute the project or he, 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 he did something. No, 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 Oh, 
I hope you recognize me. I was at your place the other night to see your father. I recognize you. But well, how may I help you? I'm really hoping you can be of help to me. But you see, um, this place is not conducive to the So, uh, without seeing you, can we do lunch? It's really a problem. Well, I, I don't know, but I, I guess I'll think about it. So, um, can I give you my number? I'll call you. Um, here's my card. So, I really thank you, Mr. So Gabbard. I, I pray you my sons to see me. It really helps with a great deal on how things stand. Fifteen million dollars and you're asking me to relax! Woman, if you have nothing better to stay, you better stay out of this. Dan. But he just told you that he invested the money for the company. What nonsense! So, don't I have the right to know what kind of investment my dear son invested 15 million of my money? Don't I? Now, let us get something straight here. Is it that you don't trust me enough to run the company and make my own decision? For the benefit of the company, independence of interference, or is it that you don't say Listen, that? young man. In business, there are rules of engagement rather than sentiments. So you don't give me that crap about trust. And I think it is high time you start looking at me as the man rather than the boy that you think I am. What are you talking about? Then as much as you think that you are a businessman, so am I. You see, we are two separate individuals coming from two separate generational gap. So you don't expect me to do business the same way you do it. I've got my own style. The only thing I am begging you is for you to listen to me and believe in me. If you think that that is too much to ask me, If you think that that is too much to act on you. Is your soul. So you better stop thinking it's war. Dad, I just... 
I just want to talk with you. It's about the 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 young man that came the other day. The one that uh, called himself Charles. Oh, what about him? I, I was just wondering, you know, what what you've decided to do with him. No. I fired him from the company. What? Why? Why? What did he do? That young man was an imposter. Charles was his And I, I, I don't think it is wise to keep such a man in the company. Is there any problem? No. No. I, I just thought I should ask. I, I have to go to bed now. It's okay, um, Francis. I'm kind of curious uh, on why you paint or, should I say, made up your mind on seeing me. And you felt sorry for me, right? Oh, come on, not at all. It's okay, it's okay, I understand. I know. You know why I was at your place the other night. I presume everyone in your household knows why I came. You sound so, so bitter. Of course I'm bitter. I have a right to be bitter, don't I? Okay, uh, I really understand how you feel, okay? So tell me, what do you want me to do for you? I really don't know. Nobody believes me. What is the man who is supposed to be my own father? Thank you. But I believe you. I believe you. Wait a minute. What did you just say? I know you are Charles. You know I'm Charles. You know I'm Charles. So you blew me on you who I was, but couldn't even do a thing? Not even stand up for me when I came to your house? You have expected me to have done. Please just say a word. A little word. Just come forward for me. At least by now, I've been accorded by my own father. Look, you don't understand. It's you who doesn't understand. You don't understand what it is like to live a life for over 26 years. You know what it is like to live a dream all your life only to be denied by your own father. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe that is why I, I, I came to you now to, to see how I can help you.
you really want to help. I want to know who planned my kidnapping. I want to know who my real enemies are. And why do you need to be out of the way? Can't you see this couldn't have been done without a conspiracy? I mean, from a member of that household? It's a conspiracy from the inside. Can't you see? Where are you going? At least we would not eat you. Don't. Okay. Maybe some other time. I think I have to go. Man, still down on why you have to flee from the restaurant? I mean, at the mention of the word I I don't feel when I go. You reckon she knows something or someone who knows something about See, that's what I can find now. You know something? What? You got to be very careful. This might cost you your life. I know. But. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. I believe you. On that, I feel like a fool. Okay? You want to check it out? Yeah, I know your way. Okay, got you. Hello, um, this is King Pierre, yeah, yeah, bad people in France. I remember you. <laughs> I recognize your voice. What's going on? Come on, are you still upset? No, 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 not at all. I'm, I'm not upset anymore. No, really, I'm not. So if you're not still upset, I mean, can I interest you to be? Um... Casey, don't you think it, um, I mean, it's kind of late for our kind of business? Listen, I, 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 I promise not to discuss the business today, okay? Because I'm kind of lonely right now and I need your company. And I can't think of any other company but yours. So what do you say, I mean, we get to know ourselves a little bit, okay? Huh? Well, I... I really wonder what we are going to be discussing, you know, that wouldn't revolve around that kind of business. Alright, okay. 
It's alright, uh so where are you? Alright. It's you fat restaurant. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be there then. What are you talking about? I mean, first time I called you, you didn't want to talk to me, you dropped the line. Second time around, I called you again, you kept me with you, you did not answer me, and you're telling me now you weren't upset. Oh, I didn't oh. pick your first call. I did not. Oh, maybe mommy did because she was actually in that room when the phone was ringing. But why would she drop Yes, why would your mother drop the phone on me? Why? Come on, you didn't talk to her. I mean, did you tell her? What you're asking is if I introduce myself as Charles, right? Mm -hmm. Of course not. I introduce myself as Kingsley. I mean, Charles is a name I believe I don't have a right to mean one. Why would she, you know, just try? Could you please change this? You know, I, I love it when you call me Charles. It's all I'm teaching you, right? Yes, sir, I mean. You know, I promise no business talk today. <laughs> so, on a light note right now, uh, tell me all about it. I want to know what makes you an angel. What makes this an angel of mine? Well, that's really nothing to know about me. Oh, come on. Let me, let me be the judge of that. I'll give this man some information, okay? Mm -hmm. Very good, anyway. Okay, let me see. Let me talk to My father died when I was born. Then, daddy and my father were very close friends. I mean, childhood friends. They set up businesses together for different things. So when my daddy died, his business began to fall to the rock. So, daddy bought it over from mom and married her. I think because he wanted, you know, someone to take care of his only son and take care of the entire house during his numerous business problems. You know, we never really wanted to be born. So I grew up with the best displacement of a daddy I've ever had. My brother. What else? I saw this. Wow. What? Well, well, well. What is that? Well. <laughs> what was that? I never knew I was, you know, dealing with a certified doctor. And a shrink to the brigade. You better believe it. But mom, I thought you said all the things have been said. Now listen, son. It looks like you don't know the extent of damage this will do to this family if that Charles of a boy is found out to be my husband's son. But he can't. I hope so. No, he can't. Not after all these years. That is the point. After all these years, I have cause to believe that that idiot of a Patrick did not carry out my instructions to the latter. You said it has been taken care of. I thought so. I thought so. You know why I married your stepfather? Yes. Because you love him. Not really. Because I want to secure my children's inheritance. I want to secure your future. Yours and your sister's. Was that the reason you sold father's company to him? Exactly. 
That is the point. That was the reason. And no obstacle is going to stand on my way to achieving this. I will secure my children's inheritance, no matter what. Not even that ball will stop me. So, son, you better be on guard as well. Uh, Mom, in that case, you have to act very fast. To avoid anything drastic to happen to the family. Hey, hey, wait. Slow down, baby. Why? You You said you wanted her to help you unravel the mystery of the abduction. Oh, yes, I do. What's this uh, love romance in the air? Well, I can't really explain it myself. I mean, what myself and Francesca feel for each other is something we both can't even explain ourselves. I mean, you know how these things happen now. I really don't, quite honestly. I wonder they say there's a thin line between love and hate. You can say that again, bro. You can say that again. So, what's next? Well, I think the only reasonable thing to do right now is just wait and see. Come on. Honestly, I can't wait to see where this love is heading. Neither can I. Neither can I because seriously, <laughs> I seem to be loving this girl more and more with each day passing, you know? Uh-huh. You. Yeah, love. <laughs> What? Oh, yes, with you. I love that you. It's your good eyes. I certainly don't need a drink. Yeah, you can help yourself with whatever you need. Yeah. Help yourself with whatever drink you want to help yourself with, but I also think it is fun. Thinking of loving somebody. Hey, don't go there. Uh, don't just go there. Can we tell you the name of this? Just so you know what's in here. Quick! What's your problem? Why do you keep nagging me? I will just leave you here and walk away. Why? Why do you treat me like some sort of death? Don't I give you enough love? Love. Yes, love. Is your love all I need in my life? Huh? Ooh, just take a good look at me. It's a love all I need in my life. Now listen, I have too many things to think about and you will help me if you stop stressing me. So I am not stressing you, Chris. Whatever. Chris! You're welcome. Sir. I see that. Yeah. Meet Jonathan. Or should I say Charles? Yes, yes, you did. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What's going on? What's the fire, bro? What's the fire? Yeah. And here I was, you know, before me, thinking that my baby missed me so much. Oh, please, come on. Be serious. Look, this is a very serious issue. Serious. It's very serious. No, it's okay. Why don't you go to the family? Then you can discuss this more serious business. What's it about the blankets? You like it? Um, it's nice. It's even turned into mine. Is it that you you like it so much or you just don't have time to get it out? No, you see, um, this blanket actually has a sentimental value. Ever since my mother told me she found me wrapped in it, I've always felt closer to my roots each time. You want to be okay later, okay? Sleep now, okay? Close your eyes. Sleep. Okay. You want to believe that right now? I mean, as I'm talking to you right now, some guy is in the house claiming to be you. What?
If you must know, I went out with Kinsky. I want you to stop saying that. What? Well, what? What did you just say? I said I want you to stop saying that. I want you to stop saying that. You're comporting with an enemy. Chris, you know, if you were being protected because you think Kinsley is not who he says he is, that would have been a different thing. But for you to warn me to stop seeing him, he got that is way out of it. And we will have to see the truth. So, um, how is um, Jonathan or Paul going to your house being so far? Tom, don't even ask me. You know, that, that guy is frustrating me so much that sometimes I just I feel like tricking God. <laughs> yes, it's not bad. Don't start with me. Come on. See, 
<laughs> I really don't know who told me that we were supposed to be like sweet with each other. He's trying to bury me with sweetness. You know, it's really dark on my mind. So, um, what are the others doing about it? Well, hmm. Mom is kind of, you know, being too sweet with him. You know, that sugar will melt in your mouth kind of sweetness. <laughs> And Chris, Chris is just is walking around with a big frown on his face. As usual. Then Daddy, that is not doing anything. How come? I mean, what do you mean? I mean, he just he walks around as if you know nothing is happening as if. No, well, he's totally uninvolved. Of course, I really know what's going on. I'm really worried about him. You need to bother yourself, okay? You see, um, the, the guru to Diagbala, you know, he can take care of himself. Yes, I mean, he didn't get this far in business only for some fine girl to worry about him, okay? <laughs> yeah. He knows what he's doing. Mm. Amen. <laughs> you see, I know that he meant to that. <laughs> I just hope he knows what he's doing, really. I'm mean, um, seriously speaking right now. Seriously speaking. Of all the professions in the world, why did you choose for psychology? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Where do I start from? Okay, um, you see, I've always been, you know, fascinated with people, you know, while I was growing up, you know, growing up most especially, you know, interacting with them, meeting with them, you know, it always made me kind of curious as to what makes them think. I guess that was why I read that time. Are you okay? Talking on curiosity now, how come you never doubted my identity? You know, you just recognized me and accepted me, no questions asked. Uh, you see, when we went to the we realized if we know, we were very close to each other. We were like writing. Yeah. And you were like a part of me. <laughs> and, you know, it was so serious that people used to call us husband and wife. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you serious? No, really. Okay. And when you were kidnapped, you nearly destroyed the little girl that I was. But I always knew you were back. I always knew you were alive. <laughs> I mean, I really don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just because of the bond we had. I really can't explain everything, but I know that when the others came, um, I really knew, I mean, this is no trap. Thank you. Can I go? So, um, in other words, you're saying that uh, you've been in love with this man since you were four years old? You cheat. Get out of here. You know that, don't you? So yeah. tell me, tell me, tell me how. I was striking, was I? Hey, what's your problem? <laughs> was a handsome no, 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 no. I guess that was just one of the stories. You know, you know, you know, you lying, don't you? Oh, my
Well, I guess you all have a, a nice day. Well, satisfying, I guess. Well, I would say my world. You know what I mean? Consider my dad living in all the world. I remember when we were young, we were never far from it. Don't you ever talk! Don't you ever talk! Don't you ever talk! And if I love you, yeah, we'll do it. Don't listen. Don't listen. This is real good. Don't you ever. Ever again, your entire new life, I live with yourself three times, you are my sister. Because I have never spent any time with you. You will not charge! You can never be charged. And you will not be charged. You don't even have it in your way, baby. God! Hey, relax, it's okay. Sunsets. Thank you, Linda, girl. Hey, please. Will you leave her alone? Why? Do you dare ask me why you meet with me? I'll talk with her, okay? It's okay. I found it today. I found Charles. What? Did it? Charles was wrapped in this blanket the night he was kidnapped. And ever since then, the blanket has been in his custody. Did it? It's me, it's Charles.
What do I owe the honor of this visit? Sir. I love to because if you were alive, you would have been found because he lived here. There's a theory that I put in order for him to be found. Some years after, info stars started coming in one after the other. My heart became hardened when I realized that they were in lies. I can't believe it. Or hope that. After some time, I decided that I had to let everything go the way they were. Because life must continue. <laughs> I had to move on. Then you suddenly appeared on my threshold. Um, excuse me, sir, but why are you telling me all this? The blanket. I'm curious. I want to know how that blanket got in your position. Um, well, if you must know, um, my mother, I mean, the woman that raised me up, Give it to me before she died. <laughs> Do you know that that was your mother's bed? Oh, you are so pure. We were so much in love. You were, you were, you were our love child. We prayed for a very, very long time for God to give us a child. Because you were long in coming. And when the pregnancy came, we did not care about the sex. <laughs> we didn't think about the child. Then on one of our shopping sprees, we found it at night. Oh, we just, both of us just fell in love with it. We decided to buy it. We realized it was too big for you, but we said we should buy it because we knew you were going to grow up to it. So we bought it. And now, Francesca brought that blanket to me last night. A proof. The final proof of your identity. So what do you want to be left? Huh? What? I should jump and shout with joy that the great dagger has finally condescended to accept me as a son. Do you know what I've been through? Do you know what I've been through all these years? Do you know? Do you know what it is to have a son, yet not have a son? Do you know what it is to, 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 to know that a son is, is not alone? I I am sorry that the truth was lying glaringly in my face all this while and I did not do it. I, I had to let my infected come out to their families and the I will be the businessman that I am. I am indeed very sorry. But I want you to know one thing, that I thank God that I'm alive. To see this day. I really thank God. I'm sorry. I am indeed sorry. I will 
just wished your mother were alive to see this day. Welcome, my son. Welcome. It's much more than that. It's much more than winning a lot of money. So, let the cat out of the bag. Lillian, you can't believe this. Rejoice with me. Rejoice with me. I'm still waiting. Let the cat out of the bag. You cannot believe this. I have finally found my son. Good news. Chief. Oh, thank God that you have finally come to realize that Jonathan is... Who, who, who is talking about Jonathan? Who is talking about Jonathan? I'm talking to you right now. That come of an imposter is in police custody. Serious! You, 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 you didn't put him in... Yes, I did! I am not talking about Jonathan. I am talking about Charles. Charles, that young man who worked in my club, in my company. Can you believe this vision? That all these years, all these years, that my own son has been working with me all that the same room, and I did not even know. Charles? Charles, my son. He <laughs> does not have to rejoice with me. He does not have to rejoice with me. I feel like crying. I feel like crying for that. Look, we are going to solve it. I am going to invite all my business associates from all over the world. I am going to have a feast that has never been held in this place. I am going to change your complexion. I am going to buy you diamonds. Then sapphires. Look, Julian, just rejoice with me. Here you are, Isaac. There you are. Come. 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 Kingsley, darling. So, where have you been? I feel like ages now, I haven't set my eye on you. It's like you don't have anything on all this. I'm sorry, guys. Go, go, go.
massive damage. Francesca, Francesca, listen about Sylvia and I. Okay? Listen, listen, Kinsley. You shouldn't start thinking that you have to be explaining your affairs to me. Sorry, I overreacted, okay, but I mean, your affairs is really not my concern. Of course it does. It does. <laughs> I'm really sorry for all that happened. Okay? I'm really sorry for all that drama. But you see, you must also understand that I'm no monk. Really? Listen, come on. Don't be ridiculous. I've never told you I was upset anyway. <laughs> Look, I have never thought you a monk. On the contrary. On the contrary, what? On the contrary, what? If you weren't so upset, why did you run out like that? Huh? Oh. You were jealous because Sylvia kissed me, right? Well, I hate to hurt your ears because myself and Sylvia were history. We're through. I mean, <laughs> we're just friends, okay? Yeah. Friends that kiss each other on the lips, right? Come on, please. Just give me a break. No. It can't be. No way. I won't allow it. How come? Kingsley, my husband's son, never. Never. Not after all these years. Not after all I have sacrificed for my children. No. Somebody will pay dearly. If anything goes wrong, God knows I won't sit back and watch my sweat come to nothing. Never. I want you to meet Vivian. Vivian is my wife. Your stepmother, my Vivian. And uh, this is Chris. Chris, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Chris. Chris is my son. Chris. Chris. Nice to meet you. Well, uh, I am very sure that Francis, you already know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it's, it's good, I love Come on, baby. Get out of here. Let's go.
came to tell me that I'm about to get out of You see, Ma, I'm really sorry for the other people of this family. It really wasn't an intention. He's kindly upset by apology. Listen, young man. And listen real good. Keep away from this family. Read my lips. Keep off! No! I have tried. This is no time to try. This is time for action. Get that boy out of the way fast. How? Why are you talking like this? Are you not a woman? Or probably you don't know the fact that your husband has accepted that boy as his son means that everything that you have fought for is gone. I knew it is. I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. Don't be you. Don't be confused. You have to act now. Get that boy out of the way. Eliminate him before he eliminates you. So tell me, Mr. Hayabur. What's to get together tomorrow going to be like? Only God knows, man. You see, my stepmother is the busiest of them all. She's so engrossed with the whole thing, you know? My yeah, but you see, uh, I kind of feel very uneasy about it all. I thought you told me some time ago that you can still feel the animosity and content emanating from her. And so, how come the about face? The question exactly. You can to be very, very careful. I say your stepmother and Chris are the ones who have the reason to want to talk to the world. I mean, considering the pattern of this woven some 25 years back, things. You got to be careful when it concerns your stepmother. My sentiment. All right. Want some more drinks? Oh no, no, no. Uh, actually, um. Got to be going right now. Yeah. Um. I hope I see you at the party. Oh. Okay. I don't see you in the car. So where did you park?
nobody cares. Oh no. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. My everything. Nobody cares. No father. And no mother, I'm alone. This day ends the same. What's wrong? I'll tell you the truth. 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 I'll tell I can't sleep in here anymore. I can't sleep with him. You need to rest. Not to be strange with him. If you need, I promise. Okay? Okay, thank you. Dad! Uh, good day, Chief. Nothing is good in this day until you tell me how my son is happy. No, everything is under control. Luckily, it was a close range shot, and the bullet went through his shoulder. He has two cracked ribs and bruises all over his body. A fractured hand, and for all things beautiful, you will be all right soon as The person who did this is going to pay for his child. Because nobody, I said, nobody steps on the tail of the lion without the consequence. Relax, Chief. I know how you feel. See, the rest are sure that by the time we finish treating him, the fun will be good. Let us kiss me. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Why can't you people do a job right once and for all? I told you people to kill that boy and not keep that boy in that hospital bed. But you didn't listen. Must I spell out your job for you? Look at what it costs now. Well, it is not my fault. Yes. Rather, it is your clumsiness that got your man into that police custody. Yes. Listen and listen deeply. You better not get my name entangled in that Charles's case. Yes. And as for me, I have never done a job with you. I have never employed you to do any job for me. You've never seen me before. And as for your balance, forget it. Goodbye. What? What? It's you. I've always said it, that your stay in that hospital was not good enough for you. Oh, please! Give me a break! I don't want to try to ask if you don't know what I'm talking about because I never had your conversation. I don't know what I'm talking about. You! You! What? You remember? Mm -hmm. You remember? Of course I remember. How could I ever forget? How could I ever forget it even if there's always been my nightmare? How could you do this to a child? 
The child, little child, four years. Four years of age. What did you do to you to make you despise him so much? God, what did he ever do to you? He didn't deserve it. You hate him? Why did you hate him so much? Honey, honey, I did it for you. I did it for you and Chris. Can't you see? I had to do something. He was going to take away everything I have ever lived and worked for. Can't you see? The money, the business, the company, everything. Money, everything. what I had to do. Can't you see? All I see is that you are the most coward mother on this planet. God, I am so ashamed I came to call you my own mother. I swear, I swear I will let the whole world hear about this. And as long as I live, as long as I breathe, you will surely get what is coming to you. You will get it. God, I hate you. Not so fast, you know, girl. Please listen. I'm going to do. I want you. Don't let me do anything that I will regret. Don't. You are not going to ruin things for me now. I won't let you stand on my way. Nobody is going to stand on my way. Not even you! Or that your little romance with that boy. Hey, I hate you! I hate you! I Go! All right. I hate you! I hate you! Chief, from what um, your daughter has revealed, your wife is a prime suspect in the kidnapping of your four-year-old son 25 years ago. The man you had arrested is a Jonathan. Did also confess to the fact that your son Christopher and your wife paid him to pose as trust your son. The criminal in detention at the hospital also mentioned your wife's name as the person who paid them to carry out a murder of Charles Sofon, which eventually failed. So Chief, without due respect, if you don't mind, we ask your permission to carry out our duty. Honey. You are not saying anything. Madam, you have the right to be silent. Whatever you say to this time for you. Honey, you are not saying anything. 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 Honey, you are not When I remember my mother took me to bed, I always get so frightened. You know, 
Because I guess that was the only time I could I could remember her showing me motherly love or concern. I always knew there was something. I always knew something was wrong. I mean, for her to have changed from her usual self to, to something else, I always knew there was something wrong. It disturbed me so much that it blotted out this, this something from my memory. So, um, how are you feeling now? Perfect. So, uh, how is Chris? Chris? Yes, Chris. Chris is in the police custody. Look, I want you to understand something, okay? Chris is not a bad person. He's just being influenced by my mother's crew. You know, you know they're always very close. Then... Francis, Daddy, you're welcome. Well done. Hold on. Daddy. How are you feeling? Feeling much better. Dad, I um, would like to thank you for everything. <laughs> That's all right, thank you. Especially to seem to my medical concerns. Uh, uh, Dad, I... I know I have caused you upheaval in your life and... caused you so much pain. I want you to know that I'm very, very sorry. Charles, you don't have to be sorry. I have to apologize for you for the wrong things done to you by a woman I married to take care of you and the children. I wonder where she got the idea from that to handle the children your day. She has to be harsh. I wasn't brought up that way. I was brought up that the love of a family is togetherness. And I, my only regret is that I I lost 25 years of my life of which I would have known my son from childhood to adulthood. That is the only thing I regret. Oh, it's okay, Dad. It's okay. We still have the rest of our lives to make up for everything. Oh, so, so.